Welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors Online, a weekly webcast produced by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. I'm your host, Mike Anderson. My guest this week is Fisheries Supervisor Dave Frieda. Dave, you and your crews are just getting started walleye spawning. Explain the process. We're at Partial Bay today. Explain the process of that. Uh, in its simplest terms, I mean, we, we set nets at about four, four or five different locations throughout the reservoir each year. And we set them about the same time. And, and now we're right at May 1st at Partial Bay, which things are really starting to get going, which is typically about the right on, right on time for the walleye spawn to kick in. And we have nets set and we'll go out and periodically check those nets and bring back, we'll separate the males from the females and bring them back and we'll, we'll check the females to make sure they're ready to spawn, that their eggs are being expelled easily. And then we, we mix the eggs and the milk together in a pan and they're put in coolers and hauled back to Garrison Dam National Fish Hatchery, which they then hatch those eggs and put them in the the rearing ponds and then come June they'll be stocked out throughout the state. Okay you guys have had to adapt a little bit this year with the COVID-19 virus. Yeah like every everybody we've had some challenges. Uh, it's resulted in probably taking some more time, some precautions, a little keeping our distances, uh, using physical barriers in the spawning process between people and wearing masks, uh, traveling single people instead of big groups in a vehicle. Uh, it's It's been somewhat of a challenge we've had to adapt to, but society has had to adapt. Dave, this is kind of where it all starts. How many walleye fingerlings will come from this process? Well, our goal for the collection portion of it, which is what we're doing now, is to collect about 450 quarts of eggs. And that equals about 55 million eggs. So out of those 55 million eggs, they will get transported to Garrison Dam National Fish Hatchery, raised, stocked into ponds with the goal of producing about 10 million fingerlings from those 55 million eggs. And those 10 million fingerlings will be distributed throughout the state of North Dakota in roughly 100 waters. Let's talk about the partnership between the North Dakota Game and Fish Department and the National Fish Hatcheries in North Dakota. Well, North Dakota, we're one of the few state agencies, or perhaps the only one, that doesn't have a state-owned hatchery. So we rely on a partnership with the Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, we provide some funding, they provide some funding and staff, and we have a, a partnership which we do most of the field collection, uh, transportation of fish, they do the physical raising of the fish, and then us as game and fish go take those fish out of the ponds and stock them throughout the state. So, You know some lakes do have some natural walleye reproduction but you said you're we're gonna stock about a hundred lakes. Is that why the walleye fishing on these lakes are so good is because of this process? Oh without a doubt North Dakota annually stocks probably more fingerling walleyes than any state in the Union and yeah what what starts here on Lake Sakakawea with we have a phenomenal walleye population. We have a great source of eggs, and it is what fuels the phenomenal walleye fishing we have across the state of North Dakota right now. Dave, Lake Sakakawea has walleye fisheries in good shape. Fish are healthy. Does taking these eggs, does that have any impact on the fishery? No, well, it does. It has a positive impact because this is where it all begins, and for walleye management in North Dakota, essentially statewide, begins here with eggs coming out of Lake Sakakawea primarily. Um, and Lake Sakakawea right now has the best walleye population it's had since Garrison Dam went in. We have high abundance of fish and we have a nice size structure. Um, so the amount of eggs we're taking each year equals about, you know, we'll probably take 50, 55 million eggs out of Lake Sakakawea this year. That'll transfer into about 10 million fingerlings which get stocked throughout the state. Now there's several million adult female walleyes in Sakakawea. That translates into billions of eggs that are in Lake Sakakawea each spring. And another thing to keep in mind is a lot of the eggs we take are from areas lower in the reservoir which don't have natural reproduction anyway. So those those eggs we're taking had no chance of ever contributing to the fishery anyway. And as us taking a small percentage of the eggs out of the lake, it 
results in over 100 walleye fisheries across the state of North Dakota. When will these fingerlings get stocked across the state? They'll go out in June, um, you know, typically mid-June. By the 1st of July, we like to have things wrapped up. Uh, again, it depends on how the spring progresses and how, the, how they grow in the ponds and things like that. But yeah, by, by July 1st, the water temps start getting pretty warm in some of the smaller waters, so you want them stocked before that. I've been up here a few times with you guys uh, during these walleye spawning efforts, and uh, a lot of times it's wind, rain, snow. You guys battle the elements. Today it's quite windy. It's North Dakota. <laughs> it's spring in North Dakota, and we have wind, lots of wind, and some years it's cold, some years it's hot. This year we've had a little bit of a challenge where we've had relatively nice weather and warm, but temperatures warm too fast on us sometimes, and those water temps, when they when we get these hot sunny days, they can really spike and that, that affects our egg quality also. A lot of great information, Dave, thank you. For more information on fisheries activities, visit the Game of Fish Department's website at gf.nd.gov. For Fisheries Supervisor Dave Frieda and the rest of the staff here at the Game and Fish Department, thanks for joining us for this week's Outdoors Online. We'll see you again next week.